Hello and welcome to my Elite Dangerous. My adventures. Permit systems. Facey. We're going to the next planet to roam around on. It's this left. Cote's Mine, or Cote's Mine, something like that. Metal Rich Worlds, like to have large metallic core, which makes the gravity much stronger, so we got to watch it when we try to land. Let's get going. Is this landing? Landing gear retracted. Wait for mass lock. Frame shift drive charging. Ready to engage. Four, three, two, one, engage. You now that conflict zone, that was kind of why I was trying to hurry a little bit to get away from that. Cotez mine we're going to try to land on. Sun's on the other side. Our suns, there's two, two stars. Can I break away from the planet's gravitational pull and while we're traveling to Cotez mine uh, look to the bottom right and you'll find my subscribe button please press that need that more than anything else doesn't cost you anything but it sure helps me out with YouTube underneath the video to the left you'll see my YouTube channel GFM underscore RDG where there's over 430 videos for you to watch. And I think this video is like 432 or 433, something like that. One of those. So you can help me out by watching videos too. And here in re my reality, not virtual reality, but reality, um, We have this uh, pandemic virus going on in uh, the year 2020. So hopefully you're safe and heeding the uh, recommendations to keep distance and possibly stay at home and play more Elite Dangerous and watch my videos, but mainly stay safe. Yeah, it 
looks like it's on the other side. The area we want to go to. The brighter side. Trying to get to different colors. Cotez is mine. Orbital flight engaged. Down to 35 kilometers. We're still in super cruise. Dropping out of super cruise. And we're in glide. look around and watching our sensor at the same time. Try to keep a video reference for you so you can come back at any time and look at the planets. And the permit systems is where we're at right now. Eventually we might get more of them. Okay. Yeah, the turbulence I always think is kind of funny because there's really no um, atmosphere. So I think that's interesting. sure what the scientific reasons for the atmosphere. We do have some company over to our left side. Sis landing. Is this alternate? Is 
Now the gravi gravity is pretty heavy, so we got to be careful there. that we don't slam into the surface. Because we have slammed into the surface before, so which is not a good thing. Trying to find a good landing area. Oops, there was one. down. Is this down? No gravity warning. Sis lights. Sis lights. to see my sen the complete sensor. Sis, ship. Ship dismissed. Again, thank you for coming along and joining me on this look around into Cortez's mine. We are getting some other than signals. I can't iterate enough in the real reality that you stay safe during this worldwide virus out outbreak. The company I work for has most of its employees work from home, and uh, that's why I always have a earbud in my ear so I can be available 24/7 or any time I'm awake be called any time during the night but I'm thankful I get to work from home because there's, in the past there were many jobs that I had in my line of work where I couldn't they wouldn't allow working from home so I'm very fortunate
dangerous in other virtual games is a way to get away from the troubles of the reality world that we live in. Thoughts and prayers are with those in Italy because they seem to have it really rough. And there's quite a few rough spots around the world. But thank you for coming along. I'm hoping this makes your day better whatever situation you're in. Take care of your elderly parents, grandparents, great-grandparents. don't have a trespass zone yet. That could come up at any time. We are getting closer and closer to what, yeah, there's our trespass zone. So I'll we'll have to start looking for cover areas. Sometimes we just have to get them to pop up and then we look for cover. Start backing up looking for cover. So here's some areas that could possibly work out for us. It's hard to tell. This one looks pretty good, but it might be too close, but we'll see. It's where we're going to go for now. Warning, you have entered a trespass zone. Trespass zone cleared. Warning. 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 And I usually check several times. Warning. Warning. Yeah, the last planet we were at, they were lawless. We still got bounties on them. We don't want to drop off too much. See, like this right here might be really good. What we're trying to get is enough cover that uh, they can't Target return. Destroyed. They can't return fire. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. So far, they haven't been able to return fire. Target destroyed. Because so we were behind this dune, so they couldn't get a lock on us. Keep watching our sensor to see if ships show up. Support, support ships could attack us. I know I've had support ships show up. An occupied escape pod, another occupied escape pod, and legal salvage. More legal salvage. And you can do what you wish regarding those. It's always my recommendation. Is this, is this right? Still at 5%. Take 
takes a lot more of them now to, to get uh, to move the scale up on our combat rank. Now, risk versus reward. The risk is low. Uh, the rebuy on the SRV is 257 credits. It's very low. Is this left? And we already have 8,400 worth of bounties, bounty claims that we can turn in. So we would pay for the rebuy of our. SRV many times over. But part of uh, returning to the main menu and coming back minimizes the risk even more. Because <laughs> I'm not a combat player. I'm more of a explorer trader. Conflict is not really what my number one focus is. I think it helps with the videos and helps to make it more interesting. And many of you like to see the combat. And you might be like me where you want minimum risk, but you need to upgrade your combat ranking and skimmer hunting, or yeah, skimmer hunting, that's what I've been calling it, is a good way to do that. But again, play that what's more the most comfortable for you and how you wish to play. I think that's best. The developers put the ability to go back to the menu and come back. There are excuses on things that that it's in the game and it, it's working as intended. So since uh, Interdictions are working as intended. Intended, going back to the main menu and come back, coming back, is working as intended also. So you should be able to use that, since that's what's in the game. Now well, we're not getting any closer to a signal. Still had the vertical bars, but not much else. Do a loop around. We have just as much behind us as we have in front of us, maybe a little more of a signal. We either had someone go into Super Cruise hyperspace or coming out of it. So I can't really tell which way it went. But we try to keep our eyes open and watching the sensors and, and deciding what we need to do, what's in our best interest toward our risk versus reward. Now, after competent, combat rank is expert. Would that be nice? Oh, yeah. Do I feel like I would be an expert? No. <laughs> Even if I got expert, I wouldn't be an expert. <laughs> it's nice to have it, but no, I'm not. I look for the least risk possible. So I'll be the first to say, no, I wouldn't be an expert. Not at all. Not even close. I'm probably not even competent. They have cell phones in 3306. But you might be like me. I only answer it when uh, 
I recognize the number. But I have to have it on anyway because it works. having my sensor zoomed all the way out so I don't like zooming it in I like to have heads up notice if we have visitors now the only time I've been attacked is right after shooting skimmers one time and uh, it made me wait the 15 seconds to get back to the uh, main menu and that worked out it didn't take damage and he was coming and he was a great his uh, sensor uh, image was a diamond and red but the computer hadn't said you're under attack yet but since he came in red and a triangle meaning his weapons were hot the way I took it, so I was trying to get out as quickly as possible. I don't know what happened to that. Uh, cell phone companies were going to try to eliminate all the spam that we get. And my phone rings constantly and it's all spam. hardly ever get any legitimate calls anymore. But again, I thank you for coming along. Please press that subscribe button if you would help me out greatly with YouTube. It doesn't cost you anything, but it surely helps me out. So if you would do that, I would appreciate it. Okay, we're starting to come up on a trespass zone. Probably want to come over on the high side. Possibly find some cover. But you really need the cover. We try to get behind like a hill like this where it makes it very difficult for them to get a lock on us. Target destroyed. Wow. 
watch our sensor. And I come to the uh, trespass zone to let you see what's here. If it was just me, I'd just go ahead and leave. There's a lot of occupied escape pods. Warning, you have entered a trespass zone. So you might would want to pick those up. Certainly welcome to legal salvage. Here, there is some materials in there. So I pick up the uh, material, but that's all I really care about. Okay. Is this right? Yeah, we're six percent competent. We did gain a percentage point, so that's good. Cargo scoop deployed. Probably is going to take a very long time. To uh, get to that expert rank, that's okay. Like I said, I don't feel like I'm an expert anyway. So but I want to make the uh, videos entertaining and interesting, and shooting skimmer stingers do make it a little interesting. And shooting rocks to get the materials for synthesis. I uh, like for an example, I need to show you. Is this right? We don't need fuel, but what if we did? We can go to the fuel tank. We could refuel our fuel tank 97 times, just with standard fuel, or with basic fuel. With standard fuel, 83 times, and 83 times with premium. I don't know if you've ever used that premium, but that's pretty cool. Because it takes like four times longer to get through it than uh, the normal, the basic refueling. But uh, we're not on a planet long enough to require refueling. I have four, three other SRVs on the ship at the moment. And uh, that's on purpose. I like having at least four. I used to carry eight before I found out about the synthesis. And now I only carry four because uh, we can refuel, reload, and repair our SRV while we're on the planet. So I don't worry as much about it. Plus here at uh, Facey, there's plenty of uh, stations. And all we have to do is go and refuel and advance maintenance and everything is 100%. So I do like that. We went to two trespass zones and we shot them up so thought it'd probably be better to do uh, surface mining a little bit try to balance it a little for each location but if you want to come here and do more you certainly are welcome to so have an outcrop another another something might be tempted to go check it out that's what we like doing checking things out and since we have gathered some material we might go check it out Did point us to more material, and that's fine too. But the material sometimes will hide the trespass zone, or the other than like uh, 
manufactured materials. go shooting up this manufactured ma or this uh, raw materials then it will expose the uh, manufactured materials again. Oh we have a ship. We have a couple of ships. We have two ships. And you know I'm not excited about that because my SRV ha is no match for a ship. Caucus and I'm not much deployed. into dying. I, that just doesn't sound real good. So I don't want to go shooting up them or find something and then they're lurking there to start shooting at us. So, yeah, I'm not much into that. But again, you need to play the way you wish to play. Just show you the way I play. And then you can make your decision how you play. I just try to give you plenty of content to get to watch. To see if you want to play the way I play or if there it gives you ideas of other ways to play, that's great. ship we'll find a place to land when we get ready to go pretty much no matter what we'll find a way find a place you just have to get there and I have heard that if it can't find a place it will just hover and you'll go get up under it so again if you would find that uh, subscribe button to the bottom right and press it help me out greatly with YouTube underneath the video to the left my YouTube channel page GFM underscore RDG where there's over 430 videos for you to watch and I, I still can hear them calling your name so you probably should watch some of them
crop over here. Sulfur and synthesis. Some really good material. And phosphorus both are really good. too long. It says our fuel reserves are down to 50%, which is fine. We can always refuel. We have enough material to do that if it was necessary. But in all the times that I've been going after skimmers, I've only had one support ship come after me. So that's pretty good. I have to say, that's not too bad. have your game plan. My game plan is to be ready to act, exit. Do pay attention to those flashes though. Those ships. pretty good and they're, they're kind of peeking over. all of them. Warning, you have entered a trespass zone. Yep, there 
and some material in there. Get these out of the way. Okay, that's all I cared about. Sis ship. Sis ship. Ship recalled. Again, thank you for coming along on this journey. Hope you come along with me again on the next journey. When we go to another planet or to a station. sure you press that subscribe button in the lower right to help me with YouTube and uh, check out my other videos over 430 of them at gfm underscore rdg and that's located below the video to the left and there is an about page that talks about drawings giveaways and promotions this down. So until we uh, get together for the next adventure, thank you for watching.